Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Raus Pepina and I'm a pet portrait artist based in Belgium. In today's video I'm going to work on my current drawing. It is a Hopoe bird and it is an amazing bird. I saw it on somebody's Instagram feed and I fell in love with it so I had to draw it and here I am drawing it. And in the same time I'm going to tell you guys 5 things that helped me get our commissions and uh, all I'm saying now is from my experience and what really helped me and I'm doing this video because I, I know it can be very frustrating not getting any commissions in the beginning. I was there as well, I wasn't getting any commissions, I was just drawing random pictures from internet just to practice but it's not the same feeling knowing that somebody is gonna commission you and trust you to make their, their pet, they're going to treasure that drawing for life and it's a really big thing for them letting somebody like you do such a special thing for them so that's why I love being a commissioned artist because I bring so much joy in people's houses. It's really amazing to know that somebody's gonna treasure that work for life and that I'm going to be in somebody's house forever through my drawings. So I think that was a pretty long intro, so uh, without further ado, let's get to the video. See you there, guys. Hey guys, so now let's start with the first tip and that is be on social media. This is one of the most important tips I can give you guys. It is very important to be on as many social platforms as possible. For example, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. I am on all three of them and it really changed my, uh, my life, also my art career. Because you need to put yourself out there where you can. Because if you don't do it, nobody's gonna do it for you. So that's why it's very important to do it. I am currently on uh, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. YouTube is a new platform for me, I just started using it and I'm still learning how to use it but Facebook is the oldest one and after was Instagram by now I can understand it a bit but still not totally and uh, Facebook, yeah Facebook I think I know what to do to get our commissions there most of my commissions come from Facebook and I just got a couple from Instagram but not much I'm still learning how to use hashtags and other things and from YouTube I didn't get any commissions because I just started uploading one month ago. But it is very important to be on as many social media platforms as possible. If you can't, if you think you can't handle all three of them, if it's too much pressure for you, you can start to just buy one. For example, Facebook. Nobody's gonna pressure you to be on every social media platform. I did the same. I started at Facebook, and uh, I really recommend you guys just put yourself out there. Okay, guys. So this is my first tip. I really recommend it. We need to use internet in our advantage because like 20-30 years ago we didn't have this opportunity so now that everyone is doing everything on internet we need to take advantage of it and make it a plus of our art career. My third tip is try to use ads on Facebook. This is a more complicated thing to do because you need to research your audience and to see at which hour they are online and they are not online and also in which countries your audience is from but it is worth it to try, you can find on YouTube a lot of tutorials of how to make Facebook ads. I mostly make ads when I finish a commission, not when I'm. It's, an, it's a work in progress because I want people to see it finished. I mostly target people from Belgium, Holland, UK and America because this is where my audience is mostly from. And uh, I don't put a very high budget, just 5 euros maximum and it really helps in uh, bringing some traffic to my uh, Facebook page and as well I did get some commissions from Facebook ads not a lot but it's a good uh, alternative to bring some traffic to, to your page it's not a must to do I think it is a nice extra thing to do for your art commissions I don't guarantee it's going to bring you commissions but like I said it is worth a try my fourth tip is try to promote yourself locally for example I am a pet portrait artist so I make portraits of animals, cats, dogs and horses mostly and what I did I just went to all the pet stores, uh, dog grooming salons and vets around my uh, area. I left there my business cards and some people they didn't allow me to do that but I don't understand they're not obliged to, let, to allow me to leave my business cards there but some of them they were really nice and kind and they allowed me to do that and this is a great way to promote yourself locally and make your make people from your local area get to know you and get to know about you. This really works for me. I got a lot of likes on my page and people that took my business cards from those places and they told me like they fell in love with the drawings from my business cards and they had to check my 
Facebook page out and I really got a few commissions from doing that and it's really nice way to let people know that you are a pet for that artist living in this area and if they ever need a commission that they just can send you a message and let you commission their portrait okay guys so my fifth tip and the last one is make great art and be kind with your clients this is very important because if you're going to make great art and the clients are going to love it and you're being nice to them they're going to promote you to the friends for sure i got a lot of commissions from my recommendations from other clients and this is very important for you guys to make, get commissions without doing a lot of effort for example you already did the drawing for the client and that drawing is going to bring you more commissions because they're going to come to people's homes and see that drawing and they're going to be like oh i really love this drawing who made it i'm really interested in letting them do my portrait as well and uh, this method is called the world's mouth because you just need to make sure people are going to recommend it to other people as well and it is also a nice feeling when somebody is testing you and telling you like oh i just saw a drawing at that person's home and i really loved it and i also want you to draw my pet i got a lot of commissions from uh, recommendations and it's amazing to know that some strangers they just saw my drawing in somebody's home and they loved it so much that they took the time to check out my facebook page text me and let me commission their pet so it is amazing that feeling is amazing so i really recommend you guys make great art be kind with your clients and make sure you tell them to recommend you and to thank them if they recommend you to somebody okay guys and now we are at the end of the video I really hope you enjoyed it and it helped you. If you follow my tips, I'm, I guarantee you are going to get a few art commissions for sure, especially the second one with the Facebook groups. That really does magic. I'm really glad I could share this with you guys and to help you. I struggled a lot in the beginning and I know how you feel if you don't get art commissions. And I did those things just by trial and error and I just realized that those five things, they helped me the most and I just wanted to share it with you guys to help you as well. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And as well, press the bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. I try to post two times a week, but if I can't post two times a week, I'm going to post one time per week for sure. And I, I'm still new at, YouTube, at this YouTube thing. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it, but we all need to start somewhere. And I enjoy the most helping you guys, the knowing that I just shared with you what helped me and knowing that in the end it is going to help you as well okay so i think i spoke long enough i really hope you are not bored by now and if you watch the whole video i'm really grateful that you took your time to listen to me and i really appreciate it if you did it if you didn't uh, watch the whole video i'm still grateful guys because you took your time to press on my video and to see what's about and that's also nice so Okay, I'm gonna stop now guys because I, I can talk forever and, and this video is going to be uh, 10,000 hours and um, I'm just going to stop now. Thank you for watching again and uh, have a nice day wherever you are. Bye guys, see you in the next one.